Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I am a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. Today we are going to be talking about poop. Specifically, we're going to be talking about a couple of reasons why dogs eat poop and how you can fix it. This video is going to cover a couple different reasons why dogs eat poop and things that you can do to help fix it. Obviously, some of these, the solutions are a little bit in depth, um, so you're gonna have to do a little bit of research, a little bit of maybe even seeing your veterinarian to figure out the best way to go about fixing this. Well, this video is a perfect place to start. So first and foremost, your dog is eating another animal's poop. Whether it be another dog, your cat, a deer from your backyard, whoever it may be, your dog is eating poop that is not his own. This is unfortunately totally common and just kind of something that comes with owning a dog. However, you don't want this to become habit. You don't want it to become a common thing because there's a lot of different diseases that can be contracted from eating feces, as I'm sure you can imagine. As far as how to take care of this particular scenario, you do have a couple options. If it's your dog, your cat, an animal of yours, or a roommate, or a neighbor, maybe, maybe not a neighbor, it depends on how close you are, there are different supplements that you can feed the pet that is having their poop be eaten that changes the flavor of it to make it gross, bitter tasting, and it doesn't harm either animal in any way, it just changes the flavor of the poop. Now this, for a lot of dogs, is not enough of a deterrent on its own, but it is an excellent first step. And again, you give this to the animal whose poop is being eaten. The next step would just be really to monitor limit contact and clean up as soon as possible. For example, if your dog keeps getting into the cat's litter box, try putting the litter box somewhere where the dog cannot get it. So either in a separate room or maybe like up on a shelf that your cat can jump onto and then go in, but your dog can't reach. You really wanna not let them be able to get it at all. If it's your dog and they both go in the backyard, you have two or three dogs, you're gonna wanna take the dog that is eating the poop out on a leash. You're gonna wanna make sure he's watched and monitored the entire time. You're really gonna wa want to work on a really strong leave it command. So having a strong leave it command is one of my life-saving dog training tips is have a strong leave it command but in this case this is a great time to work on that and you're also going to want to be going out there and frequently picking up poop especially if you let your dogs kind of have free reign of the backyard so the second anybody poops that poop gets picked up and thrown away if it's again like a feral cat that comes into the backyard, if it's deer that find their way into your backyard, whatever you end up having in your home scenario that your dog is going after. Again, it's a very similar thing of your dog can only be outside when on leash or supervised, have a very strong leave it command and pick it up as soon as possible. Now, if your dog is eating their own poop, it could be a couple of different things. So first and foremost, and most commonly in this case, is in puppies. When puppies are very, very young, they will often eat their poop because it still has a lot of nutrients in it. Dogs, when they're really, really little, just like when babies are really, really little, basically their poops are just breast milk or formula. So this, when they're super young, eating of the poop is relatively normal. It's once they start getting older and older that it becomes a real problem that needs to be addressed. If you continue to let your puppy eat their own stools past like the six week mark, that's when it can, can become a habit. And what's really, really hard to break habits. Puppies that are a little bit older, like two or three months, may still from time to time try to eat their own stools. And again, having that really good beginning training of monitoring them, of having a strong leave it command. And most importantly, if especially if you're working and you have to have your dog kenneled for most of the day, see if you can get someone to take them out around lunchtime if you're not able to, just to eliminate the possibility of them 
going to the bathroom in the kennel. Another common reason that dogs eat their own stools is actually a mineral or nutrition deficiency. This is called coprophagia and it's basically whatever your dog is eating as their food is not giving them all of the vitamins and nutrients that they actually need so their body is seeking out ways to get those nutrients. In some cases this is because you're feeding a very poor quality dog food that just it should not be fed in general. Um, if Definitely check your ingredient panels and I have a couple videos on this channel about kind of the basics of what to look for for a good dog food. I'll leave those linked up here and in the description. But you're gonna want something a little bit higher quality, see if that fixes it. If not, you're gonna wanna take your dog into the vet to see if they have any mineral deficiencies um, or any condition that inhibits certain absorption of different minerals or nutrients because that's gonna be a much more medical thing. They do have different supplements that are essentially vitamins um, that will help with any deficiencies and you can certainly try those before taking it directly to the vet. But definitely monitor your pet for any behavioral changes, any uh, lethargy or tiredness or less active. Just because, again, it could be a relatively serious medical thing. So just keep that in mind and be very careful and aware of that. Another reason why a dog might eat their own stools is because of harsh punishment during the potty training process. So some people will rub their dog's noses and their dog's feces or urination as a potty training method. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this method by any means and this is actually one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan. And what you're doing is you are creating the punishment in a very traumatic way. So a lot of the time, especially when potty training, dogs go on the carpet because they have to go and they either don't have the ability to control their bladder and their stools or they don't have a way of communicating with you that they need to go to the bathroom. As dogs get older, they might still have accidents, especially if they maybe got into the trash or they ate something new. And sometimes when dogs do have these abnormalities, they can also have accidents, just like your child might as they get older, or just like you might when you eat too much Taco Bell. Dogs have accidents. And if you continually punish these dogs in a very harsh method, such as rubbing their face, yelling at them, hitting them, a couple different ways that, um, especially cartoons from the 60s, punish dogs, this can create a very traumatic association and can actually trigger in your dog's brain, oh no, I had an accident, I have to hide this immediately. And that can cause them to stress eat their stools in hopes that you don't notice and then they don't get punished because, yikes. Now, if this particular behavior is one that your dog is exhibiting, whether it be some misinformation that you had during the training process, whether you adopted this dog, there's a couple things that you can do. So first and foremost, anything you can do to avoid an accident situation, you're gonna wanna do anyway. That includes making very clear communication of what to do when they have to go to the bathroom. For some people, their dogs know if they go to the back door and sit by the back door, they will get let out. Some dogs are bell trained, so you can teach them to hit a bell when they have to go to the bathroom. Some dogs just know that if they sit next to you and they scream at you long enough, you'll get the point and leave the couch and go open the door. There's a couple different ways of creating that association and a big part of it is just going to be continuously doing it. So taking your dog out of the same door every single time they go to the bathroom, ringing the bells or having your dog ring the bells every time you go outside. If your dog's yelling at you, actually listen to them and go let them outside and just create that association of when you feel that you have to go to the bathroom this is what you do and you as the owner also need to be very attentive to that and the second that they show those behaviors you reward them and let them go outside another big piece of this is dogs are inclined to go to the bathroom in the same place where they've been going to the bathroom so if you have a particular spot on your carpet where your dog keeps going to the bathroom Make sure you're cleaning it with a enzymatic cleaner like Nature's Miracle, just so it actually goes in and breaks down the actual odor and bacteria that is causing your dog 
to continuously smell that they'd gone there before and that can create a habit. Normal carpet cleaners might be able to do this, but for the most part, there is an underlying scent that even we can't smell that the dog can associate with, oh, I've gone to the bathroom here before, this is a place where I can go. So cleaning those carpets, having them deep cleaned every so often is gonna be very, very beneficial to you as well. And in the event that your dog does have an accident, it's very, very important to address it as soon as possible before they start eating it. The best way to do this is to very calmly address it, remove the dog from the situation, even having some treats and calling them away, luring them away with treats, something that'll interrupt the behavior and then get them away from the stool. Putting them outside in a separate room, whatever, while you clean up, and then again, making sure you're using that nature's miracle or something similar. You don't wanna punish them in any way, rub their nose in it, whatever, because most accidents like this are because they don't feel well. And I feel like when you look at it from that perspective, you kind of understand, yes, sometimes dogs go to the bathroom in the house because they deem it easier. I have a 15 year old dog at my parents' house. He's decided that the dining room is an acceptable place to go to the bathroom if the door doesn't open fast enough but he's also 15 and I'm not sure he's all there mentally and physically at this point. But for the most part, when dogs go to the bathroom inside, it's because they've deemed it one of their only options. And I feel like looking at the situation from that perspective can definitely kind of put you in a more compassionate headspace um, and allow you to treat the situation with a little bit of a different angle. So those are the most common reasons why dogs eat poop. I hope this is a really good jumping off point for you to kind of address why your dog might be performing these behaviors and what steps you can take to get them off of this path. Because again, nothing good comes from eating your stools and this isn't something that you want to let continue. I would also really like to reiterate that training is a huge, huge, huge part of addressing this problem with any of the following examples. I once had a woman who was looking for some advice on her dog eating some stools, and when I had mentioned that there was training involved and you need to have a very strong leave it command and you need to monitor your dog whenever they're in an environment where they might come in contact with stools, she laughed in my face by insinuating that training was needed because my, do my dog doesn't respond to training. That's why you're in this situation, lady. So training is very, very important, as is looking at the health of your animal and what they're getting nutritionally, if that's the case for you. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you learned something new and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. I do training videos every Training Tuesday and we also have some Feeding Friday. So you get a really good mix of behavior and training and nutritional information and advice. So if you have a pet, this is a great resource for you and we love to have you here. I will see you in my next video and until then, bye.